is free uh, preparatory course from biology chemistry provided by the university. So if you pay 95, it's not just for entrance exam, but you get also free tuition from the university provider. It will have like implication when even like you're going to practice, you're going to the professional world. Uh, it will be seen from a better perspective if you're a graduate from one of the really good universities with good network. And also in terms of exposures, traveling to other countries, uh, getting more exposure from other universities, research and so on. Even if you score zero, you are like at 50%. <laughs> well, officially it's that, but I'm not sure with 50% you can, like with zero you can get in the university. <laughs>
Okay. Uh, so basically, uh, you can get anything from plus 800 to minus 800. All right. So even if you even if you score zero, you are like at 50 <laughs> percent. <laughs> well, officially it's that, but I'm not sure with 50 percent you can like with zero you can get in the university. Which actually brings me to the next question: How many seats are there available? There are many seats. Uh, 240 seats. 240 okay. seats for medicine. 35 seats for the dentistry. Okay. Uh, theoretically, this number might lower a little bit, uh, but it, at this point, these are official numbers. Okay, uh, and uh, in general, in Slovakia, it's six years medical and dentistry studies. That's correct, yes. All right. So that's very important because outside of European Union, many countries are there uh, which offer the general medicine degree in five years. Some might have different durations, but uh, in Slovakia, it's uh, completely uh, six years of study. Um, actually, Mr. Peter, like, uh, let's build up a bit about like the history or the network that uh, the university has, mm -hmm. because also the students need to develop. It's not only that they want to uh, study, they just need to get in a medical university, but also they need to understand it's a good university. Mm -hmm. So would you like to add something about, uh, for example, the history of the university or, for example, the network that they are having collaborations with other universities as well? Yes, yeah, so the university is uh, the oldest university in Slovakia from really? 1919. Uh, so recently they uh, celebrated 100 years of existence. It's recognized, degree is recognized everywhere in the EU, and they're also eligible to uh, to go for the US MLE exams in, uh, in uh, the US okay. or for the exams in uh, Canada. And also, it's like a member of many bilateral or multilateral uh, collaborations in Europe. It's also a member of Utrecht uh, collaboration or uh, also member of uh, uh, European University Association and European Association for International Education. Okay, okay. So there's... That's, that's really good. That's really strong because uh, like uh, you need a strong history background of the university, renounce of the university to, you know, consider uh, studying there because it will have like implication when even like you're going to practice, you're going to the professional world. Uh, it will be seen from a better perspective if you're a graduate from one of the really good universities with good network. And also in terms of exposures, traveling to other countries and getting more exposure from other universities, research and so on. There's also like a uh, quite a big uh, spectrum that you are offered when you're studying at Communist University. What about, uh, for example, the application fees uh, to apply or appear for the exams? Application fee is 95 euros, Okay, but uh, if you apply and submit all documents and pay before 17th of May, okay. you can also take a free course, a total 16 hours, like it's free uh, preparatory course from biology chemistry provided by the university. So if you pay 95, it's not just for entrance exam, but you get also free tuition from the university provided. And this is provided online as well? It's provided online. Can you break down a bit of the structure of how this happens? Yeah, so it will happen in four consecutive Saturdays and okay. you will you will uh, get link of the instructions, like each day is four hours. At okay. beginning of second, third and fourth uh, day uh, will be a short test. So mm -hmm. then you get like three hours of tuition from biology chemistry, and then for the hour you will discuss the correct answers from the test. Okay, okay, makes sense. Uh, that's good, like if you're having some preparatory, um, you know, courses before appearing for the exam, you can be well prepared. Uh, and in terms of documentation, what are the requirements uh, to apply for, you know, like uh, the formal documentation process? Yeah, so this year again, it's much easier compared to the last year. Okay. So you need to pay the application fee 95 euros, then you need to provide a copy of passport, medical certificate, which uh, doesn't have any format, but uh, it's like you can just, you just need confirmation that you're eligible to study at medicine. Okay. Then you need to provide a Slack or English translation or original of your uh, high school living certificate. Okay. And I think that's I think that's all. Uh, okay. And then uh, sorry, hepatitis uh, B certificate, but that's just a copy. So it's like you, vaccination certificate. Vaccination exactly. Okay. So there is a, online uh, online uh, application system. You input all the documents. Um, once you complete, you click save the documents, if there's anything missing, the study office will contact you. Okay. There's like special study officer for general and for dental medicine, they're right. very helpful. 
and uh, very nice people. I met them one month ago, so okay. definitely if there's an issue, they can help you to process it. That's actually very interesting. Uh, so like the students apply, fortunately you get in the university from the application and also the uh, exam, so uh, good luck with that. Uh, but once the students are getting in, what's uh, the study criteria? How do they pass each semester? Uh, it works with the European credit transfer system, so yeah. um, what are the requirements to pass semesters, years, and you know, uh, minimum basic criteria? Yeah, so firstly, when you get accepted, you need to provide also notification, <laughs> okay. which is issued by the local uh, Minister of Education office in Slovakia. It's not difficult, just time-consuming, so okay. make sure to do it in uh, at least six weeks at once. Okay. So this paper you need to provide before enrollment. Okay. Uh, then when, once you start studying, 15 credits is how many you need to have to go to second uh, second semester. Okay. 48 credits out of 60 okay. is what you need to get to go to second year. Mm -hmm. Then like in the second year, you need 108 credits to go to third year, then 168 to go to fourth year. The reason is like there are some subjects in the first year uh, which you need to complete to go to third year. Okay. So like you cannot have any bad clocks from the first year to go to the third year. All right, all right, all right, I understand. So that's uh, that's like a, you need to pass uh, majority of the subjects and complete these basic credits to pass on to the next year. Yeah. And uh, actually I know like there are many students coming, for example, from Czech Republic and uh, Hungary and so on. Like if, even if you were studying in a medical university, you still need to do it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And at least you need to do uh, three years at the community university, which means you cannot go to fourth, fifth or sixth year. So you can go up to the third year, but you cannot like join in like fourth, fifth or sixth year. Exactly. So then uh, like you can apply for recognition for both EU and non-EU subjects and uh, school um, university subjects and you can apply for recognition of subject which you completed seven years uh, ago maximum okay uh, so it means like your uh, subject is valid until like uh, seven years to be recognized uh, by the university yes exactly and marks to be accepted are a to d so e and f are not accepted Okay, like from a grading perspective. Yeah, so uh, theoretically there can be different grading, but uh, okay. like the worst uh, passing mark and non-passing mark are not accepted. Okay, 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 understandable. Uh, actually, like uh, this is very interesting because Communist University not only uh, accepts students uh, or, you know, like in general, like uh, transfer students from um, European Union, but uh, also recognizes uh, universities outside of European Union and recognizes the subjects. So that is very useful for uh, many students and it's not very conventional with uh, universities in Europe. Mm -hmm. So that's something interesting. Uh, we covered, I think, a majority of the touch points uh, in terms of like studying. Uh, what about like living in um, Bratislava as a city? It's quite nice, as I heard from my friends, travel there a few times, but uh, uh, what's your expectation in terms of expenses, living expenses mm -hmm. living in Bratislava? So the university doesn't provide uh, dormitories for the students, okay. international students. You need to find it, uh, but uh, usually students, they form groups and they rent some place. Okay. Uh, usually the price... If you... Is there any assistance provided by the university uh, in uh, like uh, finding the accommodation? As far as I know, it's not, but there are many real estate agents that might not uh, charge you any uh, service fee okay. uh, because they might be paid by the owner of the flat. Okay. So if you if we speak maybe about the single apartments, those can be like four fifty to six hundred euros, including energies. Right. If we sp uh, speak about uh, short apartments, maybe you can find some good accommodation for two fifty per person. Per person, two hundred two fifty. Yeah. Actually, that's uh, generally like the price range, and then there are the advances and. 
uh, some small formalities. Uh, and what about the rest part of the living expenses, like food? Food, I, uh, I don't want to speak because it's like a heavily, <laughs> yeah, it differs like heavily uh, depending on what are your food habits, if you like to eat outside or at home, but like transportation and stuff, how much does those cost? Yeah, so insurance. Public, uh, public uh, transport, it will cost maybe 15 euros for one month. Okay. Uh, internet uh, can be up to 20 euros. Mobile, uh, mobile provide like all Internet. included, uh, all including mobile connection can be also 15 to 20 euros. Okay. Uh, like you do not need to pay extra, for example, for dental materials or for books, as you can get it from the library. Okay. But there is also like limited um, offer of the books, yeah. so you might not get it. So then you need to also invest a little bit to the books. But if you don't need it, you can then resell it to someone else. Okay. Okay, makes sense, yeah. Uh, and uh, there is a card in uh, Europe, it's uh, when you're a student in Europe, uh, or in general like abroad, uh, there's a card called ISIC card, International Student Identity Card. So that's very important because it helps you like uh, if you want to travel to other cities, if you want to get your public transport uh, pass, all these things are like uh, much discounted, 50%, 40%, in some cases even free. So generally, if you're a student under 26, try to avail for that, like you will have it for sure and use uh, the vouchers and use uh, all these things to, um, you know, like uh, get better deals and also like your living expenses will drastically drop down if you uh, use uh, and get these discounts But if you are over 26 the prices are generally like uh, full prices like uh, so it's um, it's a bit different case in That scenario mm -hmm. uh, we spoke about like accommodation We spoke about like the study program now the most important thing which is like how much is the fees because we need to understand if it's affordable or not Yes, so there are uh, like different fees for the general medicine. That's 11,000 euros and for the uh, dental medicine, uh, it increased to 12,500 euros. But still, if you compare these fees, for example, to fees in the True Republic, still it's like considerably lower. Yeah, <clears throat> medical medical uh, studies can be really expensive. So that's why one of my question was like, how expensive is it? Do you have to break your, you know, bank and mortgage your house, pay two hundred thousand euros or hundred thousand euros for your mm -hmm. uh, fees, or is it like something affordable? So actually, Slovakia has a really affordable fee structure in general for studies, but uh, also for like medical studies. Uh, so that's uh, one of the uh, primary reasons that um, students prefer to come to Slovakia. Even the living expenses uh, uh, are like uh, much better affordable, you know, in those terms. And it's in the center of Schengen area, so you can just travel around anywhere you want. Uh, so thanks, Mr. Peter, for all this information. Uh, I hope our uh, viewers uh, found it useful. So please leave a comment uh, the next video you want us to cover, the topics you want us to cover. Uh, share it to someone who's planning to study medicine. Uh, if you're planning to study medicine, write us in the comment. Contact Mr. Peter if you need any assistance with paperwork and everything. And until next time, Dovidenia, please like the video. Uh, we hope you really enjoyed it. And see you next time. Bye-bye.